In mathematics, a knot is an embedding of a circle in three-dimensional Euclidean space, R3, considered up to continuous deformations. A crucial difference between the standard mathematical and conventional notions of a knot is that mathematical knots are closed, there are no ends to tie or untie on a mathematical knot. Physical properties such as friction and thickness also do not apply. Although there are mathematical definitions of a knot that take such properties into account, the term knot is also applied to embeddings of in, especially in the case. The branch of mathematics that studies knots is known as knot theory, and has many simple relations to graph theory. Formal definition. A knot is an embedding of the circle into three-dimensional Euclidean space or the three-sphere, S3, since the three-sphere is compact. Two knots are defined to be equivalent if there is an ambient isotopy between them. Projection A knot in R3, can be projected onto a plane R2. This projection is almost always regular, meaning that it is injective everywhere, except at a finite number of crossing points which are the projections of only two points of the knot, and these points are not collinear. In this case, by choosing a projection side, one can completely encode the isotopy class of the knot by its regular projection by recording a simple over under information at these crossings. In graph theory terms, a regular projection of a knot or knot diagram is thus a four-valent planar graph with over under decorated vertices. The local modifications of this graph which allow to go from one diagram to any other diagram of the same knot are called Riedermeister moves. Riedermeister move 1. Riedermeister move 2. Riedermeister move 3. Types of knots. The simplest knot, called the unknot or trivial knot, is a round circle embedded in R3. In the ordinary sense of the word, the unknot is not knotted at all. The simplest non-trivial knots are the trefoil knot, the figure eight knot and the sink foil knot. Several knots, linked or tangled together, are called links. Knots are links with a single component. Tame versus wild knots A polygonal knot is a knot whose image in R3 is the union of a finite set of lined segments. A tame knot is any knot equivalent to a polygonal knot. Knots which are not tame are called wild, and can have pathological behavior. In knot theory and three-manifold theory, often the adjective tame is omitted. Smooth knots, for example, are always tame. Framed knot A framed knot is the extension of a tame knot to an embedding of the solid torus D2 times S1 in S3. The framing of the knot is the linking number of the image of the ribbon I times S1 with the knot. A framed knot can be seen as the embedded ribbon and the framing is the number of twists. This definition generalizes to an analogous one for framed links. Framed links are said to be equivalent if their extensions to solid tori or ambient isotopic. Framed link diagrams are link diagrams with each component marked to indicate framing by an integer representing a slope with respect to the meridian and preferred longitude. A standard way to view a link diagram without markings as representing a framed link is to use the blackboard framing. This framing is obtained by converting each component to a ribbon lying flat on the plane. A type 1 Riedermeister move clearly changes the blackboard framing, but the other two moves do not. Replacing the type 1 move by a modified type 1 move gives a result for link diagrams with blackboard framing similar to the Riedermeister theorem. Link diagrams with blackboard framing represent equivalent framed links if and only if they are connected by a sequence of I, 2, and 3 moves. Knot complement given a knot in the three-sphere. The knot complement is all the points of the three-sphere not contained in the knot. A major theorem of Gordon and Luca states that at most two knots have homeomorphic complements. This in effect turns the study of knots into the study of their complements, and in turn into three-manifold theory. JSJ decomposition The JSJ decomposition and Thurston's hyperbolization theorem reduces the study of knots in the three-sphere to the study of various geometric manifolds via splicing or satellite operations. 
In the pictured knot, the JSJ decomposition splits the complement into the union of three manifolds, two trefoil complements and the complement of the boromine rings. The trefoil complement has the geometry of, while the boromine rings complement has the geometry of, applications to graph theory. Medial graph and other convenient representation of knot diagrams was introduced by Peter Tate in 1877. Any knot diagram defines a plane graph whose vertices are the crossings and whose edges are paths in between successive crossings. Exactly one face of this planar graph is unbounded, each of the others is homeomorphic to a two-dimensional disk. Color these faces black or white so that the unbounded face is black and any two faces that share a boundary edge have opposite colors. The Jordan curve theorem implies that there is exactly one such coloring. We construct a new plane graph whose vertices are the white faces and whose edges correspond to crossings. We can label each edge in this graph as a left edge or a right edge. Depending on which thread appears to go over the other as we view the corresponding crossing from one of the endpoints of the edge, left and right edges are typically indicated by labeling left edges plus and right edges, or by drawing left edges with solid lines and right edges with dashed lines. The original knot diagram is the medial graph of this new plane graph, with the type of each crossing determined by the sign of the corresponding edge. Changing the sign of every edge corresponds to reflecting the knot in a mirror, linkless and knotless embedding in two dimensions. Only the planar graphs may be embedded into the Euclidean plane without crossings. But in three dimensions, any undirected graph may be embedded into space without crossings. However, a spatial analog of the planar graphs is provided by the graphs with linkless embeddings and knotless embeddings. A linkless embedding is an embedding of the graph with the property that any two cycles are unlinked. A knotless embedding is an embedding of the graph with the property that any single cycle is unknotted. The graphs that have linkless embeddings have a forbidden graph characterization involving the Peterson family. A set of seven graphs that are intrinsically linked, no matter how they are embedded, some two cycles will be linked with each other. A full characterization of the graphs with knotless embeddings is not known, but the complete graph K7 is one of the minimal forbidden graphs for knotless embedding. No matter how K7 is embedded, it will contain a cycle that forms a trefoil knot. Generalization In contemporary mathematics the term knot is sometimes used to describe a more general phenomenon related to embeddings. Given a manifold with a sub-manifold, one sometimes says can be knotted in if there exists an embedding of in which is not isotopic to. Traditional knots form the case where an or. The Schoenflies theorem states that the circle does not knot in the two-sphere. Every circle in the two-sphere is isotopic to the standard circle. Alexander's theorem states that the two-sphere does not smoothly knot in the three-sphere. In the tame topological category, it's known that the sphere does not knot in the sphere for all. This is a theorem of Brown and Mazur. The Alexander Horn sphere is an example of a knotted two sphere in the three sphere which is not tame. In the smooth category, the sphere is known not to knot in the sphere provided. The case is a long outstanding problem closely related to the question. Does the four-ball admit an exotic smooth structure? Heflidger proved that there are no smooth j-dimensional knots in provided, and gave further examples of knotted spheres for all such that is called the co-dimension of the knot. An interesting aspect of Heflidger's work is that the isotopy classes of embeddings of inform a group, with group operation given by the connect sum, provided the co-dimension is greater than 2. He Fligger based his work on Smale's H cobordism theorem. One of Smale's theorems is that when one deals with knots in codimension greater than two, even in equivalent knots have diffeomorphic complements. This gives the subject a different flavor than codimension two knot theory. If one allows topological or place isotopies, Zeeman proved that spheres do not knot where the codimension is larger than two. See a generalization to manifolds.